Demi Lewis from Prep Sports Nation here at McEachern High School, Powder Springs, Georgia, boys varsity baseball action as the McEachern Indians played host to the Woodland Wildcats out of Cartersville, Georgia. What an exciting game. Things picking up in the fourth inning and heading into the top of the sixth inning, it would be the Wildcats with a 4-3 lead over the Indians, a lead they'd be able to hold on to to pick up the win. Let's check out some of the highlights in this one. Good pitching and defense throughout this one here in the top of the first. Michael Morrison on the mound for McEachern. It's Chase Carson at the plate, and Chase, he's going to strike out for the first out of the inning. Next batter, Julian Wright, he'll go down for the second out of the inning, and then a little bit of defense for the Indians. Jacob Gravitt at the plate, he'll ground this one over to Bryce Archie, and Archie making the throw to first for the third out of the inning. On to the bottom of the second, and it's Aiden Ray on the mound for Woodland, facing Grant Lester. Lester will go down swinging for the first out of the inning. Later, Morrison at first. Going to make the attempt to steal second, but Gravitt makes the throw and gets it there in time for the out. And then Ray facing Lincoln Henry, and Henry, he'll go down swinging for the third out of the inning. On to the top of the fourth, and it's Bryce Adams on the mound for McEachern. He's facing Mason Williams with bases loaded. One out, and Williams, he'll swing and miss for strike three. Next up, it's Jackson Rutledge. Bases still loaded, two outs, and Rutledge, he will get walked, bringing in a run, and it's Woodland on top, one nothing. And can they add to that lead as Austin Sanders is at the plate? Sanders grounding this one to Reese Kingeter, who makes the throw in time for the third out of the inning. Indians gonna get that run back here in the bottom of the fourth. Grant Lester at the plate, and Lester with a man on second and one out, tries this one deep into the outfield for an RBI double. And we're all tied up, one apiece. Woolen racking up a couple more runs though. Here in the top of the fifth, no outs and a runner at third. 2-1 lead for Woodland. And it's a sack fly deep to right field by Wright. And Woodland takes a 3-1 lead. And then later, two outs, runner at third for Rowan Billings. And Billings looks at a pass ball, which allows another run to come in. And Woodland's on top, 4-1. On to onto the bottom of the fifth. Indians battle back to get within one. Trailing 4-2 here, Jordan Baines connected for an RBI single, and that makes it 4-3 in favor of Woodland. And then in the bottom of the sixth, Indians looking for an opportunity to tie or take the lead. Jaden Mitchell gonna ground this one to Porter. Porter makes the throw to Billings in time for the out at first, and then Billings with the throw home. It's a double play. They pick up the third out later and eventually pick up the 4-3 win. Had a fight on your hands tonight in this one, Coach. I'm probably most proud of is when we got tested. You know, that's why you play people like that. You play good teams, and you want to schedule guys like this that are going to make you pay for your mistakes and show you when you do things and, and not let you get away with stuff, and that's exactly what they did. Every time, you know, we got a little comfortable, they made us uncomfortable. You know, tip your hat to them, and, you know, that's that's what you want out of non-region games. You want to be tested. You want to be, you know, you like to see the fight, and, you know, in a game like that, two good teams, one hit, one you know, one at bat the other way, and all of a sudden now, uh, you know, it could have been the other way. But either way, though, I was happy of our, however it turned out, I was happy about our uh, our kids' fight and the way they finished. I mean, always execution a little better. Uh, we gave a little too many freebies, like a couple of errors there, a little too many walks in big situations, uh, and uh, it, times where you don't have the bat necessarily, we got to be able to move runners and bun, get bunts down, and you know score when we get opportunities at second, third, nobody out. I think we were first and second with nobody out. And then, I think we got one out of both of those situations. So, and you know, in our region, we play, every team's good. And we're gonna have to be able to execute those to be successful. All right, once again, that final score, 4-3. Woodland picks up the win over McEachern. They improved the two and one on the season. From McEachern High School in Potter Springs, Georgia, I'm Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation.